Hey YouTube. All right, this is the review for the M962 XM07 Surefire Millennium Universal Weapon Light. All right, you might have seen this in my other tactical light video, but this is the whole kit, and so I'll show it to you. All right. First off, the kit comes in this nice little tan carry case, Molly adaptable or Molly uh, compatible, so you can put it on the put it on the front of your day pack, so you have everything in the kit always with you. All right, we'll open it up. Oh, one more thing about the case. Open up this right here. This is everything that comes with it. This one's a brand new, uh, brand new kit. Not, not like the uh, other light that's in my video that's been used. It comes with a alcohol prep pad and two strips of Velcro. One is the male and female for putting on your uh, bipod assembly or forward grip. Instruction manual and some other uh, warning, you know, crap, guarantees, warranty, and a little uh, diagram of everything that comes in the kit. I'll just do that later. All right. So open up the kit. There's everything that comes in your kit. One thing I don't show is uh, the kit does come with six Surefire batteries, CR123As. It's got slots for six of them right here. Okay. There's also a little Velcro attach right here for uh, anything you want to put in there. All right, let's start on the left side. You got three lens caps right here. First one is opaque. So it's just a, uh, you can't see through it at all, just a cover for your light. Next one we have is blue. There we go. You can see a little bit. There you go. It looks yellow, you know, when it reflects. Next one here, red. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. Red. All right. On this side, you got the light itself. I'll go over more of that in a minute. Here we have a diffuser. It uh, softens the uh, light beam. And you can't see through this at all. This is a infrared light cover, so you can use your light at night when you guys are uh, using MVGs. And it comes with two extra lamps. One is the MN10 assembly. This is 125 lumens for uh, one hour of keeping it on. And then you get the MN11 lamp assembly, which is 225 lumens for 20 minutes. And then, of course, you got one. The uh, one that it ships with is uh, MN10, the 125 lumen one. And then right here, you got your pressure switch. So you just pop off this little cover right here, clip it in there, and you press on it and it'll go, off, go on and off. Alright, standard tail cap, pressure switch, on, off. Got a arms throw mount, see arms, open it up, now you got space to put your, uh, put it on your, uh, your rail, and then you just close it shut, clamps down, very solid, does not move around when it's on your rail. Alright, then you got your lamp right here, the crenulated bezel. Alright, so you just uh, have to get the batteries out. That's where you put your batteries in. Then you can take this little tail cap section off, or the uh, mount section. If you want to get a separate section like this that doesn't have the mount on it, you can uh, you know, order that and just have a standalone flashlight. 
the other thing about this is you can take those screws out and obviously the way that it is right now like with me I had to switch this on my other light you take those screws out and you can switch this thing and flip it over so like if it's on your right hand side of your weapon right now and you got a PEC-15 like I run my PEC-15 on my top rail taking this on and off might hit your PEC-15 depending on where it is like on an M4 where everything is close enough together your PEC-15 might be right here so this might get in the way if you take those screws out flip this and then your, your level will be down there as you can hear there's o-rings in every of the connection so it stays waterproof there's your light There you are. So there you go. And the other thing with the tap cap, if you turn it all the way to the right, it will keep it on constant. So. And what I mean by that is, if you have it uh, twisted all the way to the right, and you press that on, it'll be on and off. If you twist it a little bit to the left, I don't know if it's supposed to work this way. I just that I know that's how you can run it. If you do it a little bit to the left and you do it, it'll kind of keep it on and off, you know, by pressure. But that's also for the, what the pressure switch is for. So, all right. So, so the five caps, two extra lights, and your pressure switch, and your manuals, and your six batteries. So the MSR of the MSRP of this is uh, $829 on the Surefire website but uh, I see them a couple times on uh, eBay for around $700 maybe even a little, a little bit cheaper for the whole kit the light itself is about I think $300 somewhere around there just for the light but this thing is a, a badass light uh, you know it's very tough so it's a good light it's a good kit alright well there you go this has been the M962 weapon light kit by Surefire. And uh, I'm trying to vary up all the uh, signature lines I have at the end of the video, so I didn't come up with one before I started this. So I uh, will just leave you at that. Alright, see you later.